Okay, so let's uh, have a look into the library books manager. But before actually going into library book manager, I quickly want to show uh, a very small thing over here, which is uh, change title. This is very interesting and uh, it can be helpful. Over here, uh, there is a library title and a library short title. So this is uh, the title location of, uh, of uh, the logo. So if I click on here and I put uh, some arbitrary ABC library and I click on save changes then automatically the logo name changes which is pretty uh, good because uh, this gives a customization option for uh, the university or the college which act, who is actually using the application so they can customize it. Uh, what we are planning is like in our uh, next version we will be actually giving an option for changing of the logo item as well so that will uh, be very much packed up uh, with our next version release. So let's go to the library books manager. I click on get started and okay there are four things over here which is add books. This tab allows to add books to the library database and generate auto accession numbers for every book entry. So automatically accession number is generated and I can uh, at a later stage go and print out those accession numbers for all the books which are there in my database. I can search book and I can also create categories uh, for new books. So first let's have a look into the categories because this seems interesting here. So I click on proceed. Okay. A huge list is there. So there is a pre-filled list of uh, various categories already into the system like uh, autobiographies, biographies, unknown, uh, create writing something like this so uh, uh, unknown is a folder which actually uh, is for demo purpose but in the real application this unknown folder will not be there and creative writing uh, is the folder which is highlighted in blue color uh, and there is a mark icon over here which says that you cannot remove this category as it contains books under its scaffold so if there is a category and under that category if there are any books then you cannot actually delete that category. So this uh, this is a security measure so that nobody can actually play with the categories once it's been created. And uh, for other categories like cookbooks uh, I can actually remove that category from here and that category is removed here. So that's not an issue. What I can do is like I can again go to new category and I can write a new category here cookbook. Okay, these phone calls, they really keep disturbing you. So anyways, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, I have added a, a category called cookbook over here and I create category. So, okay, so cookbook is again back in place and I can actually edit this and from there and I can create say a cookbook uh, new, something like that and I click on save changes and this change will also also reflect <clears throat> okay now uh, it has it has become cookbook new so this is pretty uh, easy and simple i can also make a search from here let's let me let's say cook or uh, let's say see uh, or cook uh, okay so cookbook is there uh, i can make a search like diary and diary is there if i make a search of C. So anything that starts with E and if I make SC, so science, so automatically this is a very uh, good tool which actually gives me uh, access to uh, the information immediately. So first thing first that is we are clear with uh, the categories part. Now uh, let's go and check out our ad book part which is a very important part which we will be checking out in our next video. So yeah. Thank you for watching the video.